I have to pee. Welcome back to the Golden Limit, and we're playing Spyro Reignited. I'm just gonna walk into the into the terrace. Something. Village. Terrace <laughs> Village. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is the this terrace showing. Uh, uh, <clears throat> All right, here we go. Terrace Village. So what what world are we in? We are in Beast Makers. Beast Makers. Do they actually make beasts? You know, I don't know where the name came from. Well, all right, fair enough. Whoa, whoa, well, I guess that is a beast, huh? This guy is awesome! And a bit of an asshole. He straight bit. laughed at you. But, man, that guy was awesome. Listen here, <laughs> you piece of garbage. All right, so this is definitely the electric world. Yeah. Holy... <laughs> What's going on with that damn guy? It. Oh, damn okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right, back into it we go. We're, we we yep. got this. We got this. I mean, I did treetops. This shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> God, that guy is so cool. Look at those glasses. God. Right? 90s chic. Yeah, that is about as 90s as it gets. All these guys, I just, I'm so jealous of their style right now. I mean, there was, there was a time where we were attempting to be that cool. <laughs> yeah, well... Emphasis on the word attempting. <laughs> yeah. Although, I don't think I ever tried the no-arms look. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> but, I mean, homeboy trying to act like he's got a lightsaber. I gotta give it to him. It ain't a lightsaber. But he's trying. It sure and is. I dig it. I dig it! All right. Okay. So... Okay, so he's Ooh. done. Man. Interior decorating going on here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Can I, like... Who do I have to talk to to get my place to look like these places? Um... I mean, I would say Insomniac. <laughs> All right. Someone give me the number to Insomniac. <laughs> I need your treatment on my condo. <laughs> <laughs> and like feel free to put the uh, all sorts of electric shit just everywhere so it's a right. hazard to anybody who visits me <laughs> it's Especially cool I will, purple dragons <laughs> I will wear a rubber suit it's fine be well this careful. place they're, they're, they're careful there might be some people that are into that I don't understand why I have to be careful about that. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. So I'm looking, I'm looking at the map here, and it looks like this place at least is more contiguous. Like, you don't have to worry about yeah, as point. much falling off things, even though you have already Shut it. <laughs> fallen off things. Shut it. We don't speak of that. <laughs> oh, uh, do you mean when you fell off the world? Shut it. <laughs> Hello, Claude. Okay, so he doesn't have a uh, a southern name. A southern name. He's good. Like, well, at Claude. least not that like super stereotypical like deep Louisiana southern name. I mean, Cletus is pretty was pretty awesome. Right. And, then, and, and Jed. Yeah. Like. Oh. Hello. Which I believe is short for Jedediah. Probably. Which is. Like that is that is as southern as you get. Oh yeah, I mean, hell, that's that's about as Louisiana as you get. Well, that's the funny thing though, because Claude wouldn't that be like it's, it's, some would be kind of almost French, right? Yeah. And since yeah. the Cajuns are kind of, I mean, you got the French French <laughs> So maybe Claude does sort of count. Maybe not as southern, but as you know, swampish. Right. A 
apologies to any Claudes out there. I'm sorry your parents named you Claude. Because <laughs> the more I say it, the more I think you fucking Claude. <laughs> now I kind of feel bad for, for everyone who's named Claude, whoever has been told that they are a fucking Claude. <laughs> Yeah, and they, they, then you got the guys that are actually electrocuting the floor that after they electrocute the floor they start rocking out with an air guitar. Oh. Have you not noticed that yet? Not that. This guy. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> God, if he doesn't live in a southern swamp, I don't know who does. <laughs> Even Spyro looks concerned like he hears in the background. <laughs> Or is that the right banjo line? Am I pulling yeah, the right banjo line there? Probably. Deliverance action. <laughs> Spyro 4, Deliverance. No, oh, actually there was a Spyro 4. I think it's called... Spyro 5, then. Well, there was a Spyro 5 as well. Spyro 9, Deliverance. <laughs> Let's see, Spyro 4, oh, yeah. I believe. He does do the, he gets down the air guitar. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I do believe Spyro 4 was Enter the Dragonfly, and then 5, I think, was called A Hero's Tale. Was there a 6? Well, so there is a 6, but that's where you get into the, 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 the reboot with the Legend of Spyro trilogy. So it wasn't specifically Fine. you know what it a spyro story deliverance there we go does that work i won't put sure? a number on it we'll just call it a spyro story that's what star there wars did <laughs> like or, or or deliverance a spyro story there we go there you go <laughs> yeah spyro finds himself in the swamp he has himself a little ditty on the banjo Suddenly, Spyro was a bit concerned for uh, his holes. Valid concern. <laughs> Valid concern. So, I mean, this, uh, so, like, uh, so yeah, I mean, th th this anyway. level is a lot more con contiguous. There is some double backing, though. Oh, to get to things that are a bit... A bit They're too higher. high for not, not Mr. Flappable. Right. So, so what? Okay, so in two and three, are you able to, like, fly fly? Nope. So he's like a penguin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like, he's got wings and shit, but can't fly. Oh, yeah, ah, there you go, you did it. Yeah, that's the, the, the hitbox oh, on, on fire for that is kind of a pain. Yeah, it's a bit tiny, but hey, you got get yourself some hella gems there. Yep. And now I have to double back again. Well, that that is like the calling card of adventure games. Oh yeah. Or at least like an adventure platformer, almost. Yeah. Just be, you know, with you know all the gliding and the climbing and the and the such. Right, right. It's it's not quite a a Metroidvania. Right. With well, especially since it's, it's it's level based as opposed to world. Well, I mean, there's worlds, but it's not all one big world. Yeah, it, it's 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 almost it's almost like Mario sixty four, but not. Yeah, I could I could see that. We kind of have like separate areas and stuff. Yeah, it's, you know, you're not necessarily yeah, yeah, so the like same with this world instead of having the one hub. World. Yeah, like with this instead of having the one hub world of the castle, it's a bunch of different hub worlds with levels in them. Right, and it's like you're not visiting the same world multiple times, but right. each level is sort of an offshoot of each Damn world. It. Oh, you still managed to get hit on that, huh? Yeah, I sure did. And then boom, there's your 400. Yep, and there's my 100%. Nice. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of this place. Like they, 
They take the piss. Oh, yeah. There's another section later. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically in the boss level. If you don't know it's there, again, it's one of those situations where you will spend half an hour trying to figure out where the hell you missed gems. <laughs> awesome. Now, now, what you're doing right now with all the 100%ing and everything, is that how you managed to get like 120% on your personal game? Yes. Okay. Into the Misty Bog we go. Oh, Misty Bug. Not quite the same Misty as Pokemon, but... Not quite. But Misty nonetheless. Uh, yeah, no, so... You 100% the game, and then suddenly there's another level. Okay. So like and that's where, the, that's where the extra 20% like, comes in. Um, so, like, OG Mario 2, which was the Lost Levels in America... Yeah. Uh, it's like World 9. Right. Where it's like, well, you, you beat everything, so here's here's more. Right. Oh, jeez, that guy looked intense. Is that a trap? Yes. Was it a trap for you? No, it was a trap for a chicken. Uh, <laughs> I a just chi happened I just happened to fry the chicken before he got caught in it. It's a chicken! Just kill the chicken! Well, holy shit, what are these guys? Those guys are terrifying. <laughs> well, pet. Oh my! Were they plants? Uh, I, I think they're supposed to be like beast tree things. Uh, what's the what's the term for uh, where like a a plant and a fungus are one? What am I thinking of? Hey, uh, um. Damn. I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, uh, hold on. Finding out. Come on, computer. Or is it like an, like, like, like an algae? And a, or is it an algae? Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. Where, I mean, where? maybe. Where? No. It's like, where, where like a plant? And a fungus are like the same bee. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. No, no, just, it sounds to me like you're just getting into like weird genetics at this point. Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Where I'm, I don't doubt that there's a thing. I'm just saying, just at this point, it sounds like you're getting into weird genetics. You know what? I'm gonna go this way first. I... Damn it. Well, whatever. It's the thing where the thing happens and you do the thing. Cause that sure was explanatory. Uh, -huh. <laughs> it, uh, you know, uh, I gotta, I gotta let it go because I can't think of it. But I'm not gonna be happy about it. I mean, that's fair. All right, as, as long as, as long as that is set, as long as, as long as we're set there. God, it's the Budweiser Fuzz. Uh, Budweiser. Man. God, does that take me Again, back. Again, 90s is shit. <laughs> Good lord. Like, it, it, those were successful marketing campaigns, too. Oh, yeah. And, and and you think about it now, and it's, it's absolutely awful. And... We really think about it. To, even today's beer marketing isn't all that great. No, it really isn't. <laughs> like I, I think Damon. Hey, bro. And the name's Damon, bro. But he's an old wizardy guy. He doesn't look like a Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Um, I think the the most successful alcohol marketing campaign would be like for me right a dude just sitting around just being like man I could go for a drink and it's just like you know what's perfect when you need to go for a drink a Coors Light you don't need to party 
Yeah, don't act it. like don't act like it's some fancy shit. Right. It's like it's just like you know what's a great beer for when you just kind of want a beer, but you're really not concerned about looking a certain way or going to a party or anything. Drink a Coors Light or a Bud Light or or whatever light. You know, like a whatever beverage. Right. You know, as opposed to like Stella, where they they want you to think that you're you're fancy. Don't get me wrong. Stella is a great beer. It it tastes very good. It's a touch overpriced and it's very overhyped. Yeah. Like I I used to I used to kind of like take the the uh, the, the, the overhypedness of Stella and 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 put it against the beer. It's like right. oh I hate Stella. And I hate Stella yeah. because of that. And no 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 no. I I, I like Stella when it comes to flavor and everything. Um, but they're just a touch too full of themselves. Yeah. Like the commercials where they're like, oh no, we, we perfectly pour the, the beer into the chalice. The <laughs> chalice, they call it. It is a chalice. I know because I actually have a set. Uh, and they use the knife to like, you know, they, they flatten out the, the, the head at the top of the beer. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, no, it has to be perfect. Like, no, bitch, it's a beer. <laughs> this isn't this isn't some fancy This isn't like fine or... wine or scotch or something. Just right. it's a goddamn beer. It's beer. It's good beer, but it's not amazing beer. Like, I, I don't even know that I have had what I could consider amazing beer. I, I, I kind of got into IPAs a little bit. Not, yeah. not, not to the extent as like the, the 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 full hard style hipster crowd or whatever, but like right, right. there's a few that I really like. Like Lagunitas makes a pretty solid IPA, and um, yeah, I think I think Stone. I've had a couple Stones that are that are pretty good, uh, but like it's beer. Yeah, I don't think anyone drinks a beer to be fancy. At least at no. least Heineken is kind of like, yep. Well, it's Heineken. Yeah, exactly. Where Stella's just like, oh, you're in a, a high-class bar with chalices where they're going to take... No, no. Anywhere I've gone where they actually pour Stella into a chalice, which is probably half the bars around here, mm -hmm. they don't give half a shit. They're going to pour it. They're going to let it fall off the edge because that's how you do it. Yep. That's how you pour a beer out of a tap. Like, calm down. So that being said, best advertisement, in my opinion, for a beer. is like, you're just hanging out and you feel like you want to drink a beer? Well, Coors Light's the one for you. Or Bud Light's right. or whatever. <laughs> like the, Grab whatever beer of your choice and drink it. Like, just, uh, <laughs> Bud Light tried to have that campaign where they, it was like Bud Light America or whatever. What, yeah. Like, yeah, where, where it was like, um, it, it was like it was Party USA or some shit, which I guess makes sense because of how like ubiquitous Bud Light is with like college parties and stuff. Yeah, college parties, spring break, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. Whereas like most parties I go to, where there's a prevalence of beer, it's all microbrews and yeah. and like you'll have you know, things that are really like citrus heavy or yeah. flavor heavy, as opposed to just like oh yeah. Like, like, if someone brought a, a case of Bud Light, it'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. Right. It, I don't know. You know, we're... Well, we're... and it's funny, like, again, going back to that whole thing, you, Bud Light has this, this ubiquitousness, if you will, of, you know, college parties and yada yada. When, let's be honest... When we were going to college parties, 90% of us were broke, and we were bringing, like, 30 packs of Keystone. Yeah, it was Keystone and Natty Light. Yeah. Or, or Natty Ice, or whatever or whatever, whatever it was. Yeah. Like, when I think of, of, of light beers, you know, uh, I, I don't drink Miller, because Miller's terrible. Uh, but when I think of, like, you know, Bud Light or Coors Light, that's, like... Uh, the the boys are coming over just to hang out and play video games. Yeah. Like we're just gonna we're gonna sit here and play some Halo, 
so we'll grab a case of a Coors Light or something. Right. Because, you know, Matt and I like Coors Light. You and I like Coors Light. Yep. Uh, most people I hang out with, you know, we, we drink Silver Bullet, right? Mm. But it's not because we're trying to be special or fancy. And not, not to say that it is, but it's like, if I go to a party, I'm more likely to bring a bottle of rum or a bottle right. of whiskey. Or if, if it's like, hey, bring a case of beer, I'm like, oh, okay, um... Maybe I'll bring a case of uh, like Shiner, right, or uh, or whatever. And it makes me wonder, like, is their main demographic really like your late teens, early twenties? Right. Especially seeing that you know late teens, it's not legal to buy alcohol in America. Right. So, is that their main demographic? You know. I mean, I don't. I don't know what else to, yeah, like, to call that as. Yeah, so. like my 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 uh, my brother-in-law, he he drinks Bud Light. Just a plenty. You know when he drinks yeah. Bud Light, when it's like after a day of work, yeah. I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna throw some chicken on the barbecue, and I'm gonna have a few Bud Lights. Right. It's not when he's like going to a party. Yeah. Or anything like that. But they, they all all the marketing is like. Oh, you want to be the guy? Bring a case of Bud Light. Or especially lately with their with their kind of like weird marketing campaign. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, here's the finest mead in the in yeah. the, the the nation. Uh, and he's like, oh, I can't do this. Give me two Bud Lights. Like, no, no. I don't think that some opulent ruler. Is gonna is gonna snub his nose at at, at Mead and then go Bud Light, right? He's gonna, he's gonna be like, yeah. So where's the where's the good shit? It's been aged right. for twenty five years. And on that note, yep. I was gonna say, I think we're getting to about time. Let's catch this wild flight. Next time, on the Golden Limit. Thanks for coming out, everybody. See you next time. Boop.